Let me move these first. I like space. Ready and... Remember those times when you were a kid, full of joy and just purely innocent? You had no stress, no responsibility, and it was just easy to be happy. But then one day, as you grow up, it all changes. Do you think teenagers today are truly happy? Shit. Tough question. Truly happy? Mm. Well, as a teenager, that is a tough question. Damn, that was deep. <laughs> Most... This is one of the five questions I asked my fellow teenagers. When I was really young, I didn't really understand what it was like to be a teenager. I don't know why, but I always had a negative view of them until I became one myself. And then I realized I was wrong the whole time. Films, TV, society, and adults have painted teenagers to be these reckless, stupid, and sometimes bad kids. And yes, on one hand, some teenagers can definitely be like that. But that's a very narrow-minded, biased perspective. And that's not the whole story. Especially in Asia, where we get shut down instantly because we're just a bunch of stupid kids and we don't know any better. But that's not true. We have our own feelings, our own opinions, and our own thoughts. And I think they deserve to be heard. Most teenagers are usually just going through a lot and we're misunderstood a lot of the times and it's especially looked over by adults in society. I wanna figure out why we're having all these problems and we're going through all this, and maybe try to figure out what we can do about it so that finally, maybe we'll be understood. Maybe we'll have a better idea of what to do next. Which leads me to my first question. What do you think are the biggest struggles teenagers face today? The biggest struggles that teenagers face? Like, today? Today's teenager? Teenager face today, time management. <laughs> That's the main problem. Stress, cause of the school or study. Not being able to manage their yourself. Managing their screen time. Studying, love life. Um, I think like they want to be like independent so much, but they don't know how to be. Like, they just want to be. They don't know what to do in their life, and they don't know how would life would go on. No one would ever know what would go on. The biggest struggle, I would say school and mostly mental health. Depression. Most of the teenagers, they go through a phrase called emo phrase. <laughs> I've been going through it too. Teenagers face a lot of mental health problems these days. And I can guarantee that because I also struggle a lot with school and also with mental health. I, I think most of, the, most of the problem is basically they don't have anyone to discuss with or they don't have anyone to talk to. And also parents don't understand shit, bro. Adults put a lot of pressure on teenagers, especially teachers, parents, they might not notice it, but the pressure that they put on teenagers are causing a lot of uh, personal problems for them. Well, since we're Asian, we got most stress for studies uh, compared to other country or yeah, other parents. Our parents mostly gonna be forced us to get a good grade in the exam. They are probably to go to the good university to get a nice career. Most of the parents, I think, in Asia have like very high expectation for their children, having like high marks and then choosing a career for them instead of like letting their own child choose their careers. Nowadays, most people are like looking for like high paying jobs and not, not, their, not choosing their own hobbies or career. For some people, their families have planned out their life really far away, like till the day that they die. And it's quite hilarious how some of them don't have the freedom or right to choose a path for themselves. I think the most things struggle for myself, growing up and like taking a big responsibility. Teenagers nowadays are forced to grow up a lot quicker. Because in the night you could have just like gone around to whatever, do drugs in the bag, to make out with a quarterback. But nowadays we have to think about our future. Like what are we gonna do for college? How are we gonna finance? After we're done with this, how are we gonna think about housing? Are we gonna be able to go to college near here, over there? And you know, all that stuff. You have this difficult time transitioning from a child to an adult. For example, like living alone, doing your own stuff. And, like, everything is done by you, you and yourself. Like, there's no one to help you. You have a lot to transition to and you have a lot of life lessons that you have to learn. So yeah, we have to struggle a lot and then 
Not for a goal, we would have suffered our last. <laughs> the biggest problem my friends and I are having right now is basically finals are in one month. Actually, some people are about to start their finals next week and it's clearly stressing everyone out. The thing is, it seems like the closer finals get, the less we actually care about them. Like right now, we're all just sick and tired of it that we can't even care anymore. At this point, we're more unhinged than stress. And when I look around at school, people are so done with this shit and they would rather do literally anything else than worry about vinyls. Be my king! They did the school, uh, the pickle of like the office. Coffee. Who here drinks coffee? No. No. Okay, exactly. How do you drink your coffee? Okay. Most people would say it with milk, sugar, creamer, right? Yeah. There's some motherfuckers out there looking at a cure over there, sure. That's that motherfucker. Drinks the coffee black. Why is that? What enjoyment people really? get from drinking the coffee? Okay, but actually, I, I just love it. Black is good. Black coffee is good. good. I know. Yeah. You know what black coffee comes from? The dead beans. You're eating dead and drinking dead. Yeah, okay? but it tastes good. What's so good about that? Huh? It's good. No, What's no, good? No, it's it good. good. You don't understand the flavor. Bring, yeah, bring the me, notes that come bring in one coffee. Yeah, yeah. No, bring me through it. What's the flavor <laughs> complexity? <laughs> What's the story? Huh? Bring me through it. I dare you. Explain no, 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 to me. What's the complexity? You have never had it. I had it. I had it. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like I'm drinking rancid milk. It turned out to be spoiled. But I was like, oh, I'll just make it taste better. It's just like spoiled dirt in there. Okay? It sounds like it tastes like spoiled milk with dirt. I'll let you know this. I haven't had a real espresso. You know what I have? Espresso. Oh my god. Espresso, yeah. Espresso. I'm gonna eat my cake. I'm gonna eat my cake. <laughs> okay, see, you are the widowed mother and you are the daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and say, you found out that your, your husband had just died. No, no one even knew to your daughter. You need a latte. It's not coffee. You're having a dessert. Get that right. Latte, a dessert, not actual drink. Okay, you know what's the only good option? There's a fight club on this side, a there's a theater on that side, there's some bozos here. <laughs> oh yeah, another bozo. I'm gonna touch Jesky and Simon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mocha! 50-50%! 50 coffee, 50 whatever the fucking else, okay? That's the only best option out there. I rest my case. Objection, your honor! You then go right over there, huh? Prove your point! He is disrupting the peace of his heart. Your ass yes. is not clapping. How about that? Do you know that energy? Yeah, you don't know matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. School and exams are the only things on our minds. And no one wants that to be the only things on their mind. We have other responsibilities, we have other things we want. Balancing all of that is incredibly difficult. That's one of the biggest things I've seen my friends struggling with these days. Just balancing a normal teenage life of trying to have your hobbies and do things that you like, plus this big responsibility of doing well on the exams, it's very stressful. And honestly, because of school, I've realized that adults in society can honestly make things worse sometimes. Do you think society and adults are Fair to teenagers and what we go through. Not exactly. Yes, yes, yes. No. I'll say no. I don't really think so. Hell no. Nothing is fair, bro. Like, in that case, society is shit. It's just unfair since the beginning. Society thinks that teenagers these days are piece of shit. Especially in Burman society, they look down a lot on teenagers. They don't like when someone does something new that they're not accustomed to. So they start to blame people, they start to bring that person down for doing whatever they want to, and that affects that affects a lot of teenagers' opinions, lives, and you know, just mental health in general, because they feel like they can't do anything that they want to. 
Well, I feel like that really just depends on where you grow up and where you're living right now. Because in some places, we're expected to do absolutely nothing. We have all the freedom in the world. Like for America, for example, you have so many paths, so many options that adults basically just let you do whatever and let you figure out on your own. While some cases may vary. For here, where I currently live, you we are very strict with the future we choose. Adults just sees us as kids. They don't know our mindsets as they don't know we can do much more. They just can't get it, you know? I don't think they're being fair. Even teachers are worse. I have to deal with teachers who are really bad. Like they will force children no matter what, they will hit them as a punishment. Nah, uh, I don't like those. I think uh, parents also don't understand the teenager, like their mindset, because they, they, they just have to deal with their old Asian yeah. method. In some parts, like, adults are very willing to help the, the teenagers, but in some parts, adults are like very restricting and very controlling, I think. They probably won't accept anything that they are not the same with their point of views. Maybe they cannot accept new things, so that might be a conflict between the teenagers, youths, and the, the adults. It's also because of the differences in experiences, times have changed, so the way they treat us is based on the way that they think they should have lived their life. So it's not really fair that some of them would restrict us from some of the fun activities that we could be doing and enjoy our life. We want to like explore new things and stuff like that, but there are some parents that that's restricting our thoughts. They think like only what they say is true, and even though they are wrong, teenagers can say it back. For where I live, you only have three options. Doctor, lawyer, engineer, or lawyer. So we don't really have much choices in that aspect, so we have to choose carefully. Basically, they want you to get a high paying job and not like, not pursue your careers or hobby. They just are very strict and then like, they put a lot of expectation on you guys. Some parents are like, make them attend a lot, a lot of classes, like piano classes and a sport classes, that sort of stuff like that. Instead of making your child pursue their own hobby, habit. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes it worse when our parents put pressure on us and adults around us and other people and even our own friends and teenagers around us expect us to have certain moral codes and responsibilities that we have to hold when in actuality we know nothing about what we're doing. And respectfully, fuck off please. <laughs> pretty clear that teenagers are clearly going through a lot and I know that everyone in every age group no matter how old or how young I know that everyone has their own struggles and their own problems but I am a teenager so I wanted to talk about what we go through recently with finals coming up I've seen a lot of my friends be more stressed and more worried. And I've seen how exams, love life, and family problems have impacted people my age. It's made us lost, and sometimes I wonder if anyone my age really seems happy. I look around and we all seem okay. We try our best to put up a smile for everyone else, but deep down, I'm not sure if we're all genuinely happy. Which leads us to the big question. Do you think teenagers are truly happy today? Tough question. Truly happy? Mm. That is a tough question. I think half and half. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Like on the surface, they might be happy, but inside they're not. Because for me personally, I would say, yeah, I'm happy. Sure, things may have their ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I still have my friends, family, and money to spend. But for the majority, I would have to say probably not. There's no way they're happy with everything that's happening. It's even worse than 2024, bro. It started with a fucking forest fire or something. But what's that shit, bro? Like in Japan, there was like floods. There were uh, uh, suicide. I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit dark, but suicide rates are very high right now. The fucking suicide rate go from like for in one day, it was like over thousand. Because of social media, society pressures from school and adults and their parents all of those things uh, really affect teenagers life like we don't got any fucking idea what we're doing comparing those mentally in person in 100 years before and then nowadays teenagers like they have the same mental disorder so we cannot say today's teenagers are completely happy right. or maybe we, we are happy you we don't know i wouldn't say they are truly happy not 
for long at least if they're together with their friends if they're doing what they want if they're doing what makes them happy then maybe they are truly happy but when you're with the people that you feel comfortable when you're with the people that you love i think that's the most happiest thing in earth in some moments of your life you're going to feel like it's the best part of your life and you could never ever express it again so you really love it and you You've really got to appreciate that moment. But it doesn't really last longer than a few moments or maybe a few days. Even if they seem happy or like laughing with their friends, it might only be temporarily and it might not be true at all. Maybe they're just pretending. It's more like because of our society where you wear masks, it's like you have to act different if there are different friend groups. It's kind of annoying. You can't be yourself, really. It's, it's very visible that a lot of people are depressed. We're under a lot of pressure, stress, and we have our own worries to think about every day. And the world burning down around us isn't really helping either, honestly. And all in all, it's just a shittier to be alive right now. So it seems pretty clear that a lot of teenagers aren't really happy. I mean, it makes sense why, given all the struggles and problems we face. I'm not really surprised. <laughs> by the answers. Honestly, myself, I've been on both sides of this. I've been really happy and energetic, and I've also been really down and depressed. I know a lot of my friends who've been like that too, so I can understand where it's all coming from. It can get pretty depressing and pretty sad sometimes. But if you are a teenager watching this, don't worry, all right? There is hope and there are things that we can do to make our lives a little better and to make us happy. We've heard about the doom and gloom, now it's time for some wisdom, if there is any. What advice would you give to teenagers who feel lost? Give up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I have no clue. Bro, he's laughing so, bro. <laughs> You're asking a patient to put a cure. Uh, I advise them to leave their parents and then I go... Uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. For some legal purpose, it's kidding, yeah. So If you're failing, um, don't worry. Like, you're not the only one, you know? Like, we're all failing. First, I would say trying to find your hobby first. Like, hobby is like something that makes you feel happy and you know, that's something that you enjoy. So It's important to like discover what you actually want to do or what kind of career do you want to, do you want to work in future. After that, like, you have to set a goal of what you want to be. What I would recommend is get a book, get a journal and a pen and just write down your goal. So let's just say that, let's start small. You want to get it early tomorrow. You just have to start with sleeping early tonight. Start small. Don't think about bigger goals. Just think about smaller goals and you'll start finding yourself there. It's good to like ignore people's expectations and work on yourself more. Like trying to go to the gym, trying to study, trying to focus. Don't rely on your motivation for your work. Just, just be disciplined with your job, okay? Just be consistent with it. Don't drop it one you don't feel like it. Just keep doing it every day. Well, if you feel lost, I guess like don't hold the thing inside. Let them out. I say communication. That's like the main important. Talk with your parents first. They're the best. They're always there for you. So like, if you pack many things in a small package, it's gonna explode you sometimes. So if it explodes, the thing gonna be messy. And then, yeah, you cannot clean up in no time. So sometimes you need to let go of your feelings. Stop giving a shit, okay? Stop thinking about all those things you need to get done. Stop worrying about your future. Stop even listening to those people who are like, oh, you should know this, you should know that. Oh, why can't you do this already? Just life is a mystery, okay? Would you will learn things with time and if things come to be, just let them be. Things will happen, things will change, things will end. Just enjoy the present. Like sometimes you can be so caught up in your future that you forget to live in the moment and that's really sad. What you need to do is, are you happy in the moment? Are you sure about what you're doing? Are you okay with things that are happening? If not, find a way to change it. Make yourself happy, make the most of your moment. Don't be a loser, man, because you're going to go on. You're going to keep facing these. So yeah, just go on with your life and be you. Cause you only live once, you know, you don't stay in YOLO. Let's go, let's do this. Teenage years don't last forever after all. They're gonna end eventually. So make the most of it. This whole video started because of this one concept, which was making the most of your teenage years. That is something 
that I'm that I really have a strong opinion on. And I'm not trying to say all of this because I think I know better or because I'm living my best life. I'm really not. Most of my life I haven't lived the way I wanted to. And I think that's why I believe in this so strongly and I want to push this message out there to everyone else. It's not because I think I'm living the best life and everyone should live like me. It's because for most of my teenage years, I either wasted it or had restrictions put on me that forced me to waste it. And I don't want anyone else to not live their best life or to waste their life like I did. I know it can be pretty difficult as well because it's been pretty difficult for me. Personally, for me, I'm a pretty extroverted person. I like, you know, socializing, going out and hanging out with my friends. But when I was younger, I wasn't really allowed to go out much. Like I couldn't just casually hang out with my friends, couldn't go to restaurants with them or eat out with them, couldn't go to their houses for fun to just literally play with them. It always had to be a reason. For the longest time, I didn't try. I just accepted my fate. I was like, okay, this is how it is. Can't do anything about it. But I didn't want to live like that anymore. There was this one time a few years ago, it was after the peak of COVID and my friends were planning a trip to the beach. Now, all of them could go except me. I spent days trying to convince my family to let me go. I was in calls with my friends literally the whole day, every hour, just trying to come up with plans and strategies on what we could say to convince them what we could do. We even tried asking my friend's mom to call and we did so many things to try and let them let me go. But even after all of that, it didn't really work. I was like, there's no point in this. I know they're gonna say no. They've been saying no for as long as I can remember about the smallest things, they're not gonna say yes to something as big as this. So I gave up. I tried to make peace with the fact that I couldn't go on this trip with my friends. At the time, this wasn't just any trip. This was like the trip. Most of my friends were going to be moving away. We were gonna be apart. And this was kind of like the last hurrah for everyone. So because of that, I knew that I was gonna regret it forever if I didn't get to go. So on the very last night, I tried again. This time I said I was gonna go no matter what. And somehow we ended up leaving the next morning. Somehow after days and days of struggle, it finally worked out and I got to go on one of the best trips with my closest friends. It was definitely very difficult. Maybe one of the most difficult things I've had to do, but honestly, I don't regret a single moment of it. So that trip kind of sparked something in me to try and live the way I want to. It's been about three years since then and now I'm able to go out more. I've gone out more. I've seen my friends a lot. I've gone to parties. I've gone to events. All because I tried. You might have people in your life, whether it be family, friends, school, whatever. You will definitely have people restricting you, telling you, you can't do this. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to do this. But that's not what you truly want. That's not what you think is right. So my point is don't listen to them and fight for what you truly want. But of course, this is what making the most of your teenage years means to me. But it could be different for someone else. Everyone can have their own idea on what making the most of your teenage years really means. And it's not going to be the same for everyone. What do you think it means to make the most of your teenage years? Shit. Damn, that was deep. <laughs> well, as a teenager, I don't have an answer, honestly. Hmm. That's a tricky question. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not so sure. I mean, it's not like I live my teenage life fully because I'm 18 already. <laughs> um, What's the best life? Suicide. Do drugs, drink. I'm just kidding. For legal purposes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Make most of your teenage years. I, I think it's bad balancing your life around. I think it's important to know that how to manage your money and how to manage your life. So right now, you need to do is like, if you are your self and work at the same time, like steady work at the same time, you can just focus on entertainment as well. Because when you get old, you can't. You can't study anymore. Learn every day. So you learn the new thing every day. Maybe that might be small or big. You know, when you become a adult, you, you don't have time for like things. You don't have time to spend your time with your family and stuff. You have to balance between work family and hobbies. I talk about studying, but there might be some senior years that are not good at it. Right. Like, don't be depressed about it. There will always be something that you guys are good at. It might not be steady. Just focus on those that you are good at. I know that some people try to do something really good, but then they fail. 
so you have to know the highs and lows of it and try to understand yourself and don't be too hard on yourself. Just want to find a thing that you're happy doing about, like try to find your hobbies and try to find a career you want to work in the future. Try to like follow the career by hard working, but those are not the only thing I think we should, you should focus on. Don't think about the future, let go of the past, just live in the moment and appreciate the people around you, the love that you receive and also the love that you give to people. Appreciate yourself, appreciate the people around you, appreciate whatever uh, you have in your life. Just be grateful and be in the moment. The future will come after, so don't worry about any of that. Experience everything for the first time. Have fun with your friends, go out. Having love life, think that's an email though I don't have one. <laughs> I know it's sad. Yeah. Control your emotion and be happy. To happy, like you have to do the thing you passionate or the thing you like for example I like um, sports and then drawing or like maybe some music the artistic thing so I do them for my happiness I think the most important about living your life as a teenager is mostly gonna be friend groups that you have who you're with not even like couples or anything really like friends anyone who will be there to experience your teenagers like life with that's gonna be who you're shaped into just do whatever you want, make the most of things. Do bad shit, make some mistakes, make more of some mistakes. Never regret it, you know? Cause you're gonna be old one day and we're all gonna die. So live it, make some mistakes and do whatever you want. For anyone who's not a teenager watching this, I hope that now you can understand us a little more and what it's actually like for us. But if you're a teenager watching this, I really hope you did learn something from all this. I hope you know now that no matter how shitty things get, you're not in this alone and almost everyone else you see is going through something similar or going through some problem of their own and even though it can get really, really bad, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. I think for most of us, we can choose how we spend our days and how we spend our life. And if you could get anything from this video, I want it to be this. Don't let anyone tell you how to live your life. Don't let anyone hold you back. Do not be afraid because one day you're going to look back and you're going to think, shit, I didn't do anything with my life. And that's when you're going to regret everything. Trust me, I've been there before and it's a bad place to be. Make the most of whatever you can. Don't do stupid things. Don't waste your life away on your phone. Do things that actually make you happy. Do things that you truly want. And all in all, just live your fucking two, life. One. Happy birthday to you. Oh, no.